Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain capacitance comparison bridge and inductance comparison bridge. So, in the previous video, I have explained AC bridges. AC bridges are nothing but which are used to measure either capacitance, inductance, or frequency measurement values. Now, is a part of as a part of AC bridge, you know, we are going to see the capacitance comparison bridge. That means unknown capacitance is going to be measured by comparing with the known capacitance value. And similarly, I will also explain inductance comparison bridge, which is used to measure the unknown inductance value by comparing with the known inductance value. Okay, so this is the bridge of capacitance comparison bridge. So, capacitance comparison bridge, how the capacitance is going to be compared, see here, the first arm consisting of R1, second arm consisting of R2 and third arm consisting of resistance R3 and reactive component C3 and again fourth arm consisting of Rx plus a reactive component Cx. So, here uh, it is already clearly mentioned that the unknown capacitance or unknown impedance which is connected in the fourth arm. Okay. And one more thing you need to remember uh, when I was explaining the AC bridges, I told you the impedance Z. Instead of taking the resistance, we have taken the impedance Z. Z is nothing but resistance plus reactance resistance plus reactance it doesn't mean that z is always resistance plus reactance that is always it should consist of resistance plus reactance z may be simply resistance or it may be resistance plus reactance hope you understand okay it doesn't mean that z is always both resistance and reactance it may or may not be reactive component but definitely some at least any one of these two resistance or resistance plus reactance Okay, so with the same uh, knowledge here, uh, the Z1 is nothing but R1. Z1 is nothing but R1, Z2 is nothing but R2 and Z3 is nothing but here it is a reactive component plus resistive component again, Z4 is also resistance and reactive component. Now, when such type of bridges you are going to calculate the unknown resistance or unknown, or unknown capacitance or inductance values, first you need to write down what is Z1, what is Z2, Z3, Z4. Okay, after that already what we have known the formula, we know one formula like Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3 in that we need to substitute these values. Okay, so first write what is Z1, okay, write the impedances, write the impedance values, impedance values, impedance notations from the circuit from the circuit. So, how to write what is Z1? Z1 is nothing but simply R1. Okay, without any second thought we can write Z1 is equal to R1. Z2 is equal to simply resistance R2. Okay, and what about Z3? Z3 now it is a combination of resistance plus reactance. So, R3 plus R3 plus how to write the reactive component of C3? You should not write R3 plus C3. Okay, R C3 is a frequency term, reactive component. So you have to write 1 by J omega C3. That is the notation of the resistance plus reactive component. You can write it as XC. Okay. 1 by J omega XC. And similarly, Z4 you can write Z4 is equal to Rx plus Rx plus 1 by J omega Cx. Rx plus 1 by J omega Cx. Okay. This is what the first step we need to do for any type of bridge. Okay. Whether it is a capacitance bridges or inductance bridges or frequency bridges, any type of bridge, first you need to write this type of notation. What is Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. Okay, now calculate, uh, take the formula when, see everything is unknown impedance or unknown capacitance, I told you already everything is possible only when the bridge is in balanced condition. So, when the bridge is in balanced condition, you have to write this notation, 
when the bridge is in balanced condition what is the formula z1 z4 is equal to opposite arms should be multiplied and equated z2 z3 okay now substitute what is z1 z2 z3 z4 in this equation so what is z1 r1 what is z4 substitute this one so into rx plus 1 by j omega cx is equal to z2 what is z2 r2 into z3 r3 plus 1 by j omega c3 okay only you have to remember one thing only this formula and how to write these notations okay when capacitance is given when inductance is given if you are able to write these notations under this formula if you remember then it is very very easy entire bridges concept only depends on this particular formula z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 now multiply these resistor values so r1 rx plus r1 by j omega cx is equal to r2 r3 plus r2 by j omega c3 okay now equate real and imaginary parts so what happens if you equate the real parts this is the real part and this is the real part so simply you can write rx is equal to r2 r3 by r1 so first part is over <coughs> coming to the imaginary part so how to write imaginary part j omega j omega gets cancelled r1 by cx is equal to r2 by <coughs> c3 unknown impedance unknown value is cx so cx is equal to r1 c3 by r2 cx is equal to r1 c3 by r2 this is the unknown capacitance formula and this is the unknown resistance formula okay in the similar way we have one more circuit that is inductance comparison bridge so just in place of capacitance we have inductance here you can also do okay very simple just first what we have to do we have to take <coughs> what is z1 so first write the component z1 is equal to simply r1 z2 is equal to r2 z3 now z3 what is z3 previously it was capacitance now it is inductance so r3 plus there for capacitance 1 by j omega c but inductance j omega c only j omega l so that's why j omega l3 and similarly z4 is equal to rx plus j omega lx rx plus j omega lx so as i told the fourth arm is consisting of unknown inductance value now we need to measure what is lx and what is rx so when bridge is in balanced condition <coughs> when bridge is in balanced condition z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 see even if you know this term this statement you have to write okay this condition is valid only with this statement okay without writing this uh, statement you cannot uh, directly formula substitute in the formula okay because only bridge is balanced condition we are going to solve these notations now substitute r1 into what is z4 rx plus j omega lx is equal to what is 
जट्टू आर टू इनटू आर थ्री प्लस जे ओमेगा एल थ्री मल्टीप्लाई आर वन आर एक्स प्लस जे ओमेगा एल एक्स आर वन इज इक्वल टू आर टू आर थ्री प्लस जे ओमेगा एल थ्री आर टू ओके नाउ सेम इक्वेट रियल एंड इमेजिनरी टर्म्स सो इक्वेट रियल एंड इमेजिनरी टर्म्स दिस इज द रियल टर्म दिस इज द रियल टर्म सो आर वन रियल टर्म इज नथिंग बट विच इज नॉट हैविंग जे आर वन आर एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर टू आर थ्री सो सिंपली आर एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर टू आर थ्री बाई आर वन आर टू आर थ्री बाई आर वन एंड नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द इमेजनरी पार्ट इमेजनरी पार्ट जे ओमेगा जे ओमेगा रिमूव दम एल एक्स आर वन इज ईक्वल टू एल थ्री आर टू वाट वी नीड अनोन इज एल एक्स इज ईक्वल टू एल थ्री आर टू बाई आर वन दिस इज दि अनोन इंडक्ट formula for inductance comparison bridge okay so in this way we are going to solve any type of bridge network by taking the balanced condition okay you are going to remember remember this point you are going to find out the unknown component value when bridge is in balanced condition when bridge is not in balanced condition you cannot find out the values of unknown components okay